Good morning. Oh, God. Hold on a minute. I'm so sorry, you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Welcome to Color and Chat with Joanna. I'm Joanna. How you doing? Welcome to the channel if you've never been here before and if you're if you're back. <laughs> Girl, you're so brave. What are you doing back here? Anyway, um, okay. We need a moment of silence. It's been a tragic morning. The coffee maker went over the coffee maker rainbow bridge. She went to her demise. She is no longer with us. Let's please say a, a little prayer for the coffee maker. She was so good to me, and now she is dead as a freaking doornail. And I'm not going to have her cremated, and I'm not going to have her buried. Um, she's going directly to uh, a very lovely little corner in the dumpster. Um, so... <laughs> So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here like, oh, I need my meth, man. I need it. I need it, man. I need a hit. Um, so, uh, I guess I can have to have hot chocolate or, uh, make long suffering hubby go to the Dunkin' Donuts, but I really don't like their, I don't like their coffee. I know, don't tell anybody in Delaware. Dunkin' Donuts is like a church around here. Um, they're everywhere. Now, I love them because they have the French curler. And if you know about um, French curlers, they're made with the pate choux, uh pastry. Oh, my God. I could eat four or five of them. I'll just eat them until my face blows up. I don't care. Um, but they have really good curler. They have really good Boston cream. Maybe I could just get the donuts there and get the coffee at the, uh, there's a place in Delaware called the Wawa, W-A-W-A. -A. It's sort of like our 7-Eleven, like your convenience store, but they're a little upgraded. They have everything, like they've got a deli in the back and they make these massive club sandwiches which I think I'm going to have one today um but they have the dumbest little phrase song it's like only the best is here at the wah 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 I hope I don't get copyrighted for that because it is the dumbest song and it gets in your head they play it all the time if I worked in that store, I would be so much more mental than I already am. I would be a mental case. I'm not kidding. Because I can't handle that. Only the best is here at the wah, 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 wah. I've tried to make it cute. I can't make it cute. Okay. What am I doing? I've got bringing home the tree. I got her all kitted up. She is ready to go. But before I do that, I have... Uh, something so cool that came to me and um, I have to show it to you uh, my friend Jenny oh, hold on a minute ah. my friend Jenny who my husband he always makes fun of uh, Jenny you have my permission to just you know throw a chocolate milkshake right in his face every time I say Jennifer sent me something or Jenny did this or he's like Jenny, Jenny, I may be stupid, but I know what love is. He, he does a Forrest Gump about Jenny, you know, and he always is like, Jenny, you're my girl. And he does it so good, and I hate it, and I hate it. Anyway, um, this is the first beautiful... Uh, um, Dragonfly that she sent me, and I got a new one yesterday. Look, it came in, it just came in the mail with a bunch of, uh, hold on a minute, a bunch of goodie stuff. Hold on. Oops. Yeah, all of this. So, you know, sweet little thank you notes, sour patches, 
<laughs> There's a cocktail that you can make with Sour Patches. Anybody know this? Uh, can we Google it? Can can we get a, a hey ho on it? And then of course DP Sparklers with Tima. I assume um, she's such a doll. I have no. I I can't keep up with these cards. I gotta make sure I, I keep up with them. Anyway, so Jenny, thank you for my beautiful, beautiful dragonfly. And I really want you to see. I'm gonna pull you down a minute. Hold on. Oh, great. Well, just be uncooperative. Why not? I don't have any coffee. Why should anything else work? Look at all the colors. The blue and the purple. And it almost looks like it's it's got like a really beautiful stained glass cut to it. Anyway, now my dragonfly has a friend. A friend! Can you believe it? A friend! But I'm running out of space on my little... Okay. Don't panic. I know this might get loud and it might even get violent. I hope not. But I have to bring it down here so I can get... These are all the... <laughs> the little magnets. And I... <laughs> I and I have quite... I've got about like... Uh, nine or ten other little roses in a box. Um, yeah, it might be time to scale back a little bit on the cover minder situation. Um, how many do I really need? But a dragonfly should have a friend, don't you agree? I agree. I agree. Okay. Uh, there's stuff everywhere. I tried to remount and repo, uh, reframe my blue Santa. It had a really cool frame. Uh, they demolished it in the move. So I found one at the Goodwill. I thought it was a really good frame. It's well made. It's got a nice sticker on the back. It fell apart. It just, the frame fell apart. But I did get one thing completed. And that was... Um, my door wreath, <laughs> it's a little bit big. I didn't realize it was going to be that big, but I need more ribbon around it. I have to, I ran out of ribbon. Can you believe me? I ran out of ribbon. So, um, anyway, so I got that going on and, uh, everything else is pretty good. Just getting ready to begin at the very beginning I cannot wait to do bringing home the tree. There is so much back stock. Like this color, there's 12 bags of that. Um, the white, and it's not an AB white, but it's very, very, look at how sparkly that is. Is that pretty or what? There's 12, no, 12 bags of this, 14 bags of that. Um... And then there's this pale, pale gray, and there's eight bags of that. So I'm thinking there's going to be a ton of color blocking, and so I'm not really as afraid of this as I was before. Um, anyway, that's about it. Okay, what else is going on? Christmas. Oh, God. It's <laughs> in my room. I, I can't. My There's so much inventory in here. It's kind of a disaster area. But anyway, Jenny, thank you very much for my dragonfly. Yesterday was her birthday. Happy birthday. Although I did tell you happy birthday on your birthday. Um, but, you know, want to say happy, happy day after. Hope you're feeling good. And, I mean, 40 ain't shit, girl. <laughs> Wait till you see 50. Then it all gets real. Yeah. Trust me. This is a good time. Make good time of it. Um, what else? Oh, God. Uh, George's top hat's just about finished. I have all these little projects, you know. But anyway, I finally just said, forget it. And bit the bullet. I found a beautiful frame for Blue Santa. $55. I'm paying for it. Um, he's just too unusual of a size. 
and I don't want to trim any part of him because, you know, Blue Santa means the world to me. Um, if you're new with me, hang on a minute. I'll show you Blue Santa right now because he is, uh, this is my, this is my lookbook, my inventory. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. We talked about it this morning and, um, you know, uh, people love to crash on people who do stashes. And I said I didn't want to do a stash because I don't want to hear the backlash and I don't want to hear the mouth. And, you know, I did a stash once. It was maybe a year ago. I didn't have nearly as much as I have now. Anyway, <laughs> I had this. There are children starving in Africa. Come on already. I'm like, what? I'm like, wait a minute. You think because I have a hobby, because I like diamond painting, that I'm starving the entire continent of Africa? Snap out of it. This is Blue Santa. Okay. He's all finished now. I can't I, I can't get him over here because I've got him uh, on top of things to keep him from getting damaged at all. But he is beautiful and big. I mean, he's probably about um, 98 centimeters. He's like maybe 31, 32, 34, something. He's big. And I don't want to trim any part of it because I think all of these, all of these came out so good. Um, and so I said, forget it. Just, just buy a frame that fits him. You know, I mean, I try my best to hit the, the goodwill and, you know, the yard sales. And I always get lucky with a lot of frames. I don't mind trimming a little off the edges when I have to. But that guy, in the middle of having him is when I had my stroke. And I really thought, I'm not going to get back to this. I'm not going to finish this. And he was part of my therapy. And he was the cathartic thing I needed to get my mind off of what just happened to me. So he's very, very special. So, okay. So I don't want to bring you down. Um, but... <laughs> I just wanted to um, tell everybody, hey ho, see how you're doing, and um, I'm gonna get started on him later today, possibly. I don't know. I got him rolled out. I just I like to let them rest a little bit, you know, before I start taping. And I don't even know. I might leave the plastic on. I might do. I don't know. I don't know. I might. I might. Do, I just might leave the plastic on this time. Um, and just do section by section because there's a lot to do, but, uh, I'm ready to get going on her. So I hope you're doing something fun. Please. You are important to me. So you must be important to you. Take care of you. Rest, eat, sleep, and God rest the souls of all the coffee makers that have come to their demise. Anyway. I'm, I gotta go shopping. I gotta go find a new coffee maker. I'm going online. I'll talk to you later. Shine on. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>